What's up? Is it going? Yeah. How's it going, guys? Teach Me Grappling. Brian Peterson, John Solar here. We are back. And I want to show you guys a cool technique. Before I do that, I just want to say uh, thank you guys so much for all the contributors. Um, we're getting a lot of traction since last week's uh, UFC. And, uh, you know, there's so many uh, Khabib fans out there that just love me right now. So we're getting lots of, lots of views, lots of subscribers. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for all who clicked the Patreon link and PayPal link and you guys donate to the channel. I'm going to keep bringing you guys great stuff. Today I want to go over, uh, last week was Quintet and Gordon Ryan just demolished everyone. And he just did something that was really cool and I wanted to bring it to you guys. Um, there's a, a move called Shin to Shin. And if you guys are here in your guard, instead of going for like a single leg like this, okay, you put your shin here. I have a video on this where I show one of my Shin to Shin sweeps. My knee is on the outside, my ankle's on the inside, and I control his leg. It's not a butterfly hook. A butterfly hook is up here. Two butterfly hooks, this is shin to shin, here. So, I have shin to shin, I can use this. Okay, so I just wanna give you that illustration. The other illustration I wanna give you is, when every day you warm up at a Jiu Jitsu class, you practice a drill like this. Okay, leg circles, um, it's a mobility drill. You want to know how to do this drill. So now when Gordon Ryan was passing the guard of like uh, a couple of his guys, I'm going to show these clips to you. And uh, I guess I'm going to show them to you right now. Okay, here it is quick. Butterfly hook is in and Gordon's going to circle his legs and immediately look to pass. Let's show you that again slow. Again on the bottom. Um, Souza ends up getting his butterfly hook, but look at Gordon's left thigh is high. The foot goes into the crotch, which allows room for the leg circle. And then he immediately shoves off and, and passes to the left. So here's another one with uh, Shaolin. Really quick. That time he almost backstepped. Didn't get completely passed, but it did lead to the demise of Shaolin. There's the hook, you see the hook placement. He's balancing on his hands and he kind of kicks off and back steps and has good ankle control right here to get back, so. Okay guys, I'm back, go ahead and lay me back. So let's check this out. Um, the situation is how to accomplish uh, passing the butterfly guard. So when I'm here, okay, I'm gonna have one of his legs. In this case, Gordon had one leg stapled and then his opponent put in a butterfly hook, okay? Now, if my leg is close to his ankle like this, he has a good butterfly hook. This is what he wants, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna make my leg go higher like this. If my leg is higher up his leg, if my leg were to move, I can then leg circle, okay? So watch my leg, I bend my leg, and then I leg circle and I hook his leg just like shin to shin. Okay, this is like when you hip escape to get shin to shin. Okay, if I'm here, I can't do this. See, his foot is lodged behind my knee. I can't do it. So in this case where Gordon Ryan was stapling here, he had his hands down. Now, go ahead and circle around, Brian, circle over here. Yeah, so you can see the leg. So watch this. If I can get some, uh, a few inches up here, See how I bring my knee up towards my chest? I can go here, now I can take my leg and leg circle and hook his leg like this. So the way you can also do this is by like closing your thighs. So when you close your thighs, there's a threat that if I close my thigh, I might fold his butterfly hook and then this type of pass will happen. Okay, so watch this. See that? You're gonna have to get the best angles, Brian. So just imagine you wanna learn this move and then like videotape it. <laughs> so there, see that? So you wanna, you, you wanna get his leg like this. So now he holds his butterfly hook here. See the butterfly hook? Right now, I can't do that. I can't like make his knee fold that way. I would love to like fold it and then drive my knee through, but he's not letting me. But if my leg can go up a little bit, see like this, 
I'm not that worried about the leg lock right now because my right leg is stapling. So like say, say he grips to grab my leg and then he shot his right leg through like that. I have my, my right leg stapled on his leg so he doesn't have inside position like this. If he had inside position, then I would have to worry about this position. But since I have my leg stapling his over here and he has a butterfly hook, I'm free to kind of bring my leg up and even if he were to like snap it on me right here and he snaps, boom, boom. Like I'm, I'm coming through towards the mount. So I'm not that bad right now. So I bring my leg up and then now I'm just gonna rotate my leg in a circle and then here, okay? And again, closing my thigh. When you close your thigh, if your leg is, is like close to his ankle down low, if you close your thigh like this, this gets a response from your opponent. And the response is he starts to extend his hook. And the more he extends, the more he gives you this. Now, once I'm here, he's worried now. He knows that I have a better position. I now have the inside position. So I could push his leg out of the way and go towards the mount. There's so many combinations at this point that could happen. Because I already have a staple on my right side. I, I'm going to negate his butterfly hook. And then now once I'm here, he's in big trouble. So what he's going to do is he's going to start putting more tension, like as if he wants to like bring me this way. Yeah. And then now this is where you're going to see like Gordon put some pressure and kind of like ride on his butterfly hook. And then you can switch. And then now I have my right leg on this side. So I just passed it off. Now, when you do this move, sometimes you'll end up here. Sometimes you'll end up in knee on belly. Sometimes you'll end up shin to shin on this side. And then in the shin to shin on this side, you can just slide your right knee th right through, lean against his hip so he doesn't underhook you and throw you forward. You know, lean against his hip so when he tries that, I've got base, go ahead, try. Yeah, see, I'm not letting him, then I can step over the head and spin and catch side control. So this is a lot of crazy combinations, but the, the point is, you want, what you want to learn is, is how to make this leg circle to negate his butterfly hooks. So you can do this in a bunch of different formats. You can drill it like this. Right now I've given my, my partner butterfly guard. He's going to go double unders. He's going to try to hug me and then lift me. So as he puts here, what I'm going to do is, you see my legs? He's trying to keep those butterfly hooks. Notice how my right knees, or uh, my right knee, my, both of my knees slid a little bit. Now look at my leg. Here and here. See how I did that? Now, if he wants to use his butterfly hooks, they're gone. Try to move me. It's real hard, huh? Now once I'm here, see how I have an inside position? I can now jump off of this and switch the hook. See how I'm on this side? Now as John tries to move me so I don't pass, See how I rode that position and I'm free and clear of his legs and now I'm going to try to circle around as he's trying to shrimp and get away. I'm putting pressure, trying to pass the guard and get through. So the way that uh, I believe when Gordon Ryan you see on the video, I believe he had a staple on one side so he had this position. So it was like a butterfly hook in here. So when he's here, just pulse and then make the hook and then pass it off and jump into Neon Valley, jump, jump to this side of his body. But even if the guy has butterfly hooks, remember, you can't do it if you're low. You just need to close your knees a little bit, make the guy check a butterfly sweep, like take, take me to one side. Yeah, see how he's here? If I bring my knee up, I can circle. See that little space? If he doesn't fire the gun, I call this the gun right here. If he just keeps it chambered to his butt and he flexes his foot, I can't really do this move. See that? But if he starts to extend his leg, you see that right there? Then my leg can move and I can do that leg circle. Go ahead, lift. See that? And then now as he's throwing me, you know, and he's here, I can then watch this combination. Follow around over here, right? I'm gonna drop my left hip. As I drop my left hip, I land like this. You see the hook behind here? Then I can pass this off to my right foot. And now I've got him under a lot of stress. I'm hugging his neck right here. He might try to push me off so he can freeze his neck up. But I'm gonna hold on to him, pin his leg, and I can walk back this way and pass the guard. There's so many combinations, okay? But it's much like doing shin to shin. You're just fighting your legs for inside position. 
He has inside position. I move my leg forward, then I leg circle, and I get the inside position. Now I have the inside position. His leg's here, I circle, and now I have inside position. And now once I'm here, you know, with inside position, I'm not that worried about any more leg locks, and then now I can start to pass the guard. It's hard for him to close anything, try to move, just to understand. See how I'm controlling? Now I can jump around and move around. Most people like to practice uh, like half guard, um, full guard, feet on the hips, because they can manage distance. They can keep you away. But when you have a butterfly guard player, you know, and you guys are here, this butterfly hook, now I just want to circle it off. He's attempting to make me off balance. See that? As I move, I hook, and then now I'm balancing on my hands. He's trying to figure out what to go for. Do you see a leg lock? It's hard to see a leg lock, huh? See one? This one's stuck. Go, go for a leg lock. See that hook? Now I can hook out. Step off. See how my legs landed? And we landed like this. Didn't move from here. Now as he starts to move, see the Kimura here. Maybe I don't get it. Maybe I just control his legs. Push his hips back to his back and pass his guard. So you're going to get a lot of passing opportunities when you learn how to use this against the butterfly hooks. It could be a butterfly sweep to the side. It could be just be the butterfly lift. Remember, anytime he extends his legs, close your knees a little bit. And then as you close your knees, work your legs. See how I made that hook? And look at my right foot here. In this case, look, I got both of them. Can you see it? You see it, Brian? Yeah. See how I've got both. Now that I have both, I can step off to the side, free and clear. And now that I'm here, I've got my base, underhook this leg. He's trying to shrimp away and create space. I'm gonna to try to control him and get up in the position on belly, pass that guard, and drop down. Okay? So um, it's a really good technique for you guys to use. I don't think a lot of people, you see a lot of people doing it, but I guarantee you, um, you're gonna see more and more people doing it, especially after they check out this video and uh, or just you know watching the uh, quintet footage. And it's not like Gordon Ryan um, is the first to do this. You know, I've seen uh, Chris Brennan teach stuff like this. So shout out to Chris Brennan. Um, I've seen him teach it before. Uh, it's been around for a long time. It's just not something you'll see a lot of, but man, it's a good technique. If you can uh, move that butterfly hook into a slightly different position and work that leg circle, then you can control them with your, kind of like shin to shin from the top. Um, and enough, and uh, I've basically said enough on this, but I just wanna say, now you guys have a reason why you guys do this stuff. You know, I know a lot of people go, this drill is for, you know, hip escaping, learning how to get your hooks in for butterfly hooks, but it's not just that. Here's another uh, application for that drill that's gonna really help you guys out. So, thank you guys so much. Teach me grappling. Keep liking, subscribing, and sharing. Click, keep uh, clicking the link, uh, contributing to the channel, and we'll be back tomorrow with more good stuff, all right? Thank you guys so much. Thank you, John. Mm -hmm. You're the man, dude. You're super loud today. You talk too much. <laughs> so, all right, guys. We'll see you later. And uh, tomorrow. That, tomorrow. 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 We'll Monday. see you tomorrow. All right? Smash you. Smash you. Smash you. Eric Khabib. <laughs> You know, practice, practice the eagle. The eagle. Oh no, do it, Dennis. Let me go. All right, let's Thank get you out guys. of here. See ya.